what is going on guys hilarious here for another youtube video today i'm gonna be telling another story and i know this is like my third one in a row but um father's day was just a few days ago so i'm just gonna be telling a story about my grandpa and what and what happened to him when he was younger so when my grandpa was younger at about like 20 or 30 years old he was really good at dealing cards and stuff like that he could do all sorts of these tricks for example, magic tricks, he was really good at that stuff, he really had sleight of hand. I say this now because later in the story this will come into play. So when my grandpa was about 20 or 30, I want to say it's around that area, he might have been 40, I don't know. Every now and then he would go out with his friends, you know, just go out to the bar or something, have a party, something along those lines. So one night he, do he just does the usual, he gets a group of his buddies and you know they drive around just going around bars. Somehow he ended up getting into a car crash that night, I don't know if it was because he was drunk driving or something like that. Sadly though, the person in the passenger seat did end up passing away, and the people in the back seats, they did get injured, but it was nothing fatal, it was nothing too bad, maybe like a broken arm or something like that, but that was all. But what happened to my grandpa was kind of, kind of weird. He was gripping the steering wheel, like, so that, I, I guess you could say his thumbs were, like, on the inside of the steering wheel, and, like, his four other fingers were on the outside of the steering wheel. I guess it would just be the normal way you would hold a steering wheel. On impact, when the two cars hit each other, like, of course, you go forward, and his thumb got caught on the steering wheel, and it literally almost tore the whole thing off. It was his right thumb, and he somehow saved his left thumb, I guess. It just didn't get caught, but, yeah, his thumb was legit only hanging on by a thread. Of course, he ended up going to the hospital right after because of he has... His thumb's dangling. They checked him out and everything. He Nothing else was wrong. Maybe a few bruises and scratches and stuff like that. But the main main thing that was wrong was his thumb. So the doctor comes in and is just like, oh, okay, yep. Well, yeah, of course, we got to operate on that thing. So he starts laying out his tools and everything. And my grandpa's just sitting there kind of in pain. You know, who wouldn't it be? So the doctor's right about to cut, like, the little thread that's holding his thumb on. But my grandpa's just like, what are you doing? And the doctor's just like, um, I'm, I'm cutting, I gotta cut off the rest of your thumb. And this is what my grandpa said. He's just like, no, 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 you're not cutting off my thumb. And the doctor's just like, yeah, but that'd be the simplest way to do it. They, there's this really long, complicated process. And my grandpa didn't care, like, how long the process was. He didn't care how complicated. He didn't care how much it was gonna cost. All he wanted was to keep his thumb. So after complaining a lot, the doctor finally said, fine, 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 I won't cut off your thumb. So what the doctor does is that he goes he goes into his thumb, all right, takes out all the little pieces of bone, like it was, I guess it was also shattered or whatever, and he decides, you know what, I'm gonna just put it all back together like a jigsaw puzzle. What the doctor did was that he li literally, he like took out all the broken pieces of like the bone in his thumb and then laid them all out on like a table and then one by one put it back into his thumb and then stitched the rest of his thumb back on then wrapped a bandage around the whole entire thing so when he was recovering with the bandage and everything like that he could he could just do a little bit of movement but probably not without a lot of pain so he got his thumb back but it didn't have like um it wasn't as good as new cuz you know those <laughs> the magic tricks and card tricks that he could do. Yeah, he couldn't do them anymore because his thumb was just, it was messed up. He couldn't, like, move it the way he used to. But a thumb's a thumb, I guess. Well, that's the story of my grandpa almost losing his thumb. He's honestly done a lot, though. He's pulled a lot of funny pranks and stuff like that, which I gotta tell you guys about. He's 101 years old. I mean, he of course he has a lot of good stories. But I guess that's for another video. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, why not hit that like button? And if you're new to the channel or you want to see more content just like this, subscribe. Anyways, if we somehow get 10 subscribers in the next two weeks, um, I will dye my hair pink. Yes, I will dye it pink. I promise you that, and I, that, that is definitely not a joke. I promise I'll dye it pinky pink. Anyways, guys, my name is Hilarious, and see you guys in the next video.